Hi, welcome back to Cadible. And in this tutorial, we'll be making this uh, Allen board in SolidWorks. First of all, we'll model it in SolidWorks 2020, and then we'll render it in Keyshot 9. Although you can use these uh, tools uh, from SolidWorks Design Library. Uh, here I'm making it. So go to New and uh, go to Part and uh, select OK. And now we are in SolidWorks interface. So first of all, I'll change my background to plain white, and then. I'll go to let's say front plane, go to sketch and uh, first of all I'll sketch center line. Uh, remember I, uh, I'll make it using a, a revolve feature. So I'll make the half portion of the bolt and uh, select this line. Uh, we are making a rough sketch and then we'll give it a suitable dimension. So. The overall length, uh, let's say this length is uh, 35 mm and uh, this length is uh, 13 by 2 so it will be 6.5 just drag it and uh, this side is 8 mm so it will be 4 because I am making the half portion and uh, lastly I will make uh, this dimension as 8 mm the height of the head and now sketch is turned into black so which means it is fully defined as you can see here so just uh, cancel it and uh, now i'll go to features i'll go to revolve boss command and uh, i'll pick axis of revolution as this line and i'll press ok so the basic geometry is done and uh, now I'll go to let's say chamfer feature and uh, I'll, uh, I'll add uh, 3 chamfers of 0.8 change it to 0.8 of uh, 45 degree select this this and this and press ok uh, next we'll make uh, the hexagon on the top of the bolt so select this face go to sketch and uh, view normal go to polygon and we'll make uh, we'll make a polygon of uh, let's say 6.5 it is still underdefined and uh, just select this line and this line and make uh, coincident in fact uh, cancel it and uh, select let's say this point and this point and make vertical so it is fully defined because it is turned into black as you can see from here uh, just cancel it and uh, just go to features go to extruded cut command select this sketch and uh, we'll make an extrusion of 6 mm. Uh, now uh, we'll make another sketch on uh, let's say front plane, front plane. And uh, actually we have to cut this portion. Uh, so we have to make a sketch on front plane. And uh, I can't see the i can't see this portion so i have to change it to uh, let's say hidden lines visible and now i'll go to view to normal now i can see uh, the hidden lines so just go to your uh, first of all i'll i'll sketch this line and this line and this line and uh, the dimension of this line is 4 mm and the angle is uh, let's say 30 degree uh, I think if I change it to 60 degree no uh, it should be 30 degree and also I have to make another sketch on this line and uh, this angle should also be 60 
no 60 is uh, i think it should be 15 yes it should be 15 it is still un uh, under defined so i'll pick this point and this point and uh, make horizontal relation uh let's change it to 15 okay it will work for us so uh i'll rotate my model and uh, i'll change my uh, view to shaded with edges and now i'll go to features i'll go to revolve cut command and i'll select this sketch and uh, i'll require a 360 degree uh, revolve press ok and as you can see that uh, we are done with this so uh, next uh, i have to make threads on the bolt and uh, in solidworks uh, 2015 and below versions uh, this feature is not available that is called uh, thread feature you have to make profile and then you have to uh, you have to make path so solidworks uh, 2015 above versions have this thread feature and i'm using uh, solidworks 2020 so uh, this feature is available and uh, i'll select uh, this circle and uh, i'll require uh, threads on uh, 25 mm also uh, cut thread yes metric die and uh, the pitch is uh, 1 so I'll change it to let's say 1.25 and it will be one uh, m8 by 1.25 and as you can see that uh, the preview has changed so uh, and uh, uh, just uh, press ok and as you can see that uh, we are done with this uh, threads so uh, uh, you can use uh, some chamfers here but uh, uh, i'll not use uh, the chamfer uh, it's up to you and uh, we are done with this uh, basic uh, uh, allen bolt so next i'll go to appearance and uh, i'll try some uh, metallic appearance and uh, let's say i'll go to steel and i'll select uh, this so uh, uh, next i'll go to uh, tools and i'll go to key shot and uh, send to key shot i'll make some uh, renderings there and although it is not necessary but uh, i'll use it so it will take some time uh, depending upon your uh, machine and first of all i'll go to environment and i'll switch off this uh, ground shadows and next i'll go to environment again go to background and i'll require white background and uh, also uh, next i'll go to window and uh, i'll go to uh, project and i'll go to material and uh, i'll require library as well so go to materials and uh, let's say i'll go to stainless steel and uh, i'll make no i think i have to change it uh, you can uh, use these uh, metals uh, in fact these materials and uh, you can uh, play with these materials so let's say i'll try this mm, i think i have to change it just go to metals and uh, let's say i'll try this uh, yeah this looks fine this looks fine to me uh, just uh, I'll try, I'll try this and I think uh, it is okay, it's okay and uh, just cancel it, go to lighting and I'll put off this uh, self shadows and 
and uh, just go to image go to resolution go to landscape and uh, i'll change it to 1280 by 720 and uh, uh, you can use these settings uh, but i think i think it's fine go to perspective in fact uh, before going to perspective i'll just uh, change it and now go to perspective and uh, just uh, it's uh, it looks fine so uh, go to render and uh, go to options and just change it to let's say 256 go to output and i am using 10000 dpi so it's a time taking rendering process and uh, i'll change its path to let's say helen bold select folder and now i'll render it so uh, it will take some time to render and uh, Uh, so uh, we are done with this uh, rendering and uh, we can save our file go to save and uh, we can save our file uh, let's say with this name allen bold and i have already saved in uh, a different version so i'll not save it just cancel it and let's just cancel this as well and uh, we can uh, we can save a uh, bolt in uh, stl format for uh, 3d printing uh, go to save go to save as and uh, we can save our file in stl format and uh, let's save it and this file is saved for uh, 3d printing so th uh, that's it for uh, uh, today's tutorial i hope you like it and if you have any questions any queries related to this uh, tutorial or any other you can ask in uh, uh, comment section thanks for watching and uh, uh, kindly subscribe to our channel for more videos thank you